What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. We are doing some casting with the new Dobbins Maverick. I've done the breakdown, I did the intro, I did some grease lube on it. I have not touched the bearings, the spool bearings on it. I haven't touched any of that stuff. So we're gonna see how it casts with that 10 gram, 11 gram spool. It should cast pretty well, hopefully. Um, I've heard from some other guys messaging me that it's a casting machine. Um, we're here, we've got like a common ground area here. And from the street to the tall grass up the hill, it is 150 feet. I did measure it out. So we're gonna see how far this thing can go. I'm hoping it can go at least half of it. So we'll find out how it goes. All right, so here's the reel. It's the A1 to 1. I've got it paired with a Dobbins Caden 713. I will be throwing a 3 8 ounce casting plug. Yeah, it's a little uh, aerodynamic and stuff, but it's still pretty light considering there's no like trail or anything. Um, I'm also only have a three quarter spool of old school Berkeley iron silk. This is 12 pound line. 12 pound Berkeley iron silk. You probably never heard of it because it's been discontinued for about a decade and it didn't really sell well. I just have it for random house project tying stuff and uh, using it for backing for customer uh, reels that don't put braid on their reel. They're supposed to. So I usually just use it, but I use the whole spool up. Um, but yeah, I only have a three quarter spool. So it's not even a full spool of line. A uh, full spool will probably just get a <clears throat> little bit better casting, but it's still, uh, still getting pretty damn good casting right now. So I've got it on what I found to be five plus two clicks or six minus one click on the mag dial. Uh, it's pretty free. It doesn't backlash a lot. You really don't have to use your thumb a ton. So see what we can do on the casting here. But it's a seven foot one. It's not like it's a bomb cast rod. It's just a general purpose rod. So Okay, so hopefully you guys can see this. I've got it uh, kind of on a tripod a little bit higher. So I'm just gonna make a couple casts with this 3 8 ounce casting plug and then probably go on to a little spinner bait. As you can see, I've got it set to just a click below six. This is kind of what I found for this specific bait to uh, not make it backlash. You really don't need to use a thumb. So here we go. As you can see, it landed just before the big clumps of grass, which is about 145 feet or so. Um, not really bombing it, just uh, making a typical sidearm cast. Another one right there, right at the clump of grass, about 140 feet, 145 feet at least. Um, so yeah, with this casting plug, it's pretty easy just because it's aerodynamic, but it really does cast pretty easy. Again, landed probably six feet before that clump of grass. It's also going to a 45 degree angle uphill, so kind of lose a little bit of distance. See if I can make a cast here. Get it on camera. Barely using the thumb there. That's all the way up in the trees. As you can see, I'm shaking the trees up there. And again, this is a three quarter filled spool. Eight to one. Granted, when you're using eight to one, you're typically not gonna make a bomb cast, but you're gonna make just the short flips and pitches, unless you're throwing with a frog. Um, what I've done, if I'm making flipping pitching with this reel, I'll back it off to like two. A little bit easier with the trajectory and everything. It releases the bait a little bit quicker, so a little bit less breaking on it. 
see if I can. We've got this generic little uh, quarter ounce spinner bait here. Just gonna get it tied on. A little bit more resistance to it with the uh, Colorado blades on it. So that one fluffed a little bit, so I'm gonna probably put it up just a smidge. I got it over six, close to seven. But again, that's probably 90 feet. So it's not terrible with a little quarter ounce spinnerbait. Get a little sidearm cast. Might bust it up to seven. Not bad again. Pretty consistent in the casting here. Just tossing this little guy. Just making my little roll cast. Drop it down if you want to make some pitches. Make some pitches, I got it on four and a half. Make some pitches with it. Drop it down a little bit more. Got it down to three, just under three. Cause I can drop it down to a little under two. Might be a little easier. Not too bad. But that is just some of the casting with it. Um, Dobbins and Maverick. Not too bad. As you can see, I flushed the, uh, the knobs. So they are a little bit uh, faster than typical what you're going to get out of the stock out of the factory. Once you open the box, they're a little bit greased up. So I just flushed them just to make them a little bit smoother. I haven't touched the bearings on this yet. I'm going to go uh, probably swap these out to Boca's just to see what it does see you guys here later all right that was the uh casting with the stock bearing stock setup everything stock just uh, a couple casts here just to see i mean it does cast pretty easy that 10 ish gram spool um has a pretty quick startup inertia so 10 grams is uh about six grams lighter than the slx spool if i had like the fuego spool in the shop i could, I could weigh that but i don't have one so but that's what it is i'm gonna go swap the bearings do a bearing install on the reel and then come back out here and do some casting and see if it does anything with it. Um, my guess is you might gain a little bit distance, but it's going to be a little bit smoother reel. And then it's going to be a little bit easier to cast lighter stuff and just a little bit more consistent on your flipping and pitching. So smash that thumbs up, guys. Appreciate you guys for watching and peace.